What's up everyone and welcome to an update video of sorts. It's been a while since I've made one. This is of course because um, the Minecraft Coder Pack and Forge took a really long time to get to 1.7 and also I skipped 1.6 for several reasons. And so yeah, um, I'm left with, well, a really long waiting time here. But I've been using the time quite well I think and um, together with Triple Edit Cheap we added a lot of features since the last version and um, in this video I'm just going to quickly go over them all um, all, all of the new features of course um, the first thing I wanted to mention is that uh, we renamed the mod from the middle age mod to the game old shuttles mod which was a long overdue I think that was a pretty generic name to begin with but yeah um, without any further ado I'd just like to get to the features now of which the first one is, basically I added a bunch of new statues of the existing mobs, of course. And, um, yeah, this is nothing special, I do this every version. But, um, one special thing is that um, I've redone the rendering system to match the new version. And so I can now use the zombie and the um, zombie pigman again. And uh, those are pretty cool because you can actually equip them with... Uh, all the armor stuff which you previously only could do with the skeleton so yeah next thing I've added ray tracing mostly to the um, uh, weapon racks and that basically means that you can right click the slot uh, from which you want to get the item and also where you want to put the item so if I right click this sword here and then right click uh, on this one here I can place it wherever I want and that works for the wall version and the one you place on the ground of course. So next thing is um, grindstones. Um, basically you get the base here which you can right click but it doesn't really do anything. Um, but if you place a grindstone inside um, it uh, puts it on top and if you then rotate it it gets faster and faster and once it, once it reaches a certain amount of speed you can right click it with um, any kind of sword I mean any kind of I think it only takes iron and um, diamond if I remember correctly but you can repair them on them so if I right click a bunch of times you can see it gets uh, greener and greener the durability but if you right click too often then it will eventually break the sword if you're unlucky and also it will wear the um, uh, stone down let me just get it uh, working a bit, a little bit quick, more quickly, and see if I can break the sword. Nope, seems like I'm pretty lucky this time. But yeah, that's basically the gist of that. Next, I have the gongs here, which uh, you require a, go um, a mallet to activate. If you just right-click them like that, you will get a small ping sound. Um, but with the mallet they um, do their normal gong sounds, so let me just show you the, with the small one. Uh, the medium one, this is the one you're probably most familiar with. And lastly the huge one, which has a really really um, big range, so you can hear it from like 300 blocks away. But it's really deep, so you might miss it. Alright, um, next up I have pedestals here. Um, these are basically made to show off uh, your weapons or valuable items basically. So I can right click the um, pedestals with my swords here. And for the wooden one it just places the item on top like that. With the uh, stone one it basically does the same but in a little bit of a better fashion. Um, next up we have the iron one, which actually levitates the item. Um, also the golden one, which is even better, as you can see. And um, lastly the diamond one, which is really really fancy in my opinion. As you can see here. So yeah, if you got anything you want to show off, that this is basically the way to do it, but beware. <laughs> um, it's pretty damn expensive, so yeah. 
next up we have the item shelves, which also use the ray tracing technique I implemented. And basically um, you can right click any item in there and put it in any kind of other slot to pick them up or um, equip them or whatever. Um, we have the normal um, shelf, which is Jamian's shelf, then the wall shelf, which takes four items, and lastly the wardrobe, which has uh, two doors too, and also two drawers on the bottom. The bottom can take um, four items each, and the uh, doors up here, you can t uh, put any kind of chest plates in there, I think four a piece. Uh, so yeah, next up we have snow globes, which are basically a small block, get away from here, um, which are basically small blocks um, which just show a uh, house inside, but if you right click them with an ender eye, they convert into the reality globes, um, like this, and actually show this surrounding area, which I think is pretty cool. For performance reasons, uh, they don't show any kind of block, but um, they can be pretty useful or um, fancy in your house. Because um, if you if the house is small enough, they actually show the whole outside area, like um, in the normal snow globe, and uh, I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, and lastly, we have the banners and flags um, updated. The, they are all 3D now, like the banners as you can see right here and also the flags, they have um, actual width now um, and also I've updated the animation um, so they wave a lot better for the banners too, they also animate now um, but also I've implemented a wind system, so if I set the time to like 3000 uh, or maybe I usually forget what the numbers are. It's a fake wind system, so it's um, it's based on the times of the day. So let me just try 8,000. If that works. Uh, ah, there. There we go. Um, so yeah, the, the flags just uh, kind of settle down here and fold up. And um, the banners just stop waving, basically. But yeah, that those were actually all the features I added, um, apart from uh, me porting this uh, to Forge, of course. So this is now fully compatible for Forge mod. And uh, yeah, I hope you have fun with all of them. And um, that was basically it. So I wish you goodbye and uh, see you next time.